Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a breakdown of a headstand, so a forearm headstand or bound angle headstand rather than tripod. Personally I prefer this headstand, I find it easier to bring the weight into my forearms um, than tripod, but some people find tripod easier, but today we're going to break down a um, forearm headstand or bound angle headstand. So the first thing you want to do for headstand is, if you're a beginner, I'd recommend having a wall um, behind you, just for your own kind of peace of mind and just to build your confidence up until you're ready to move away from the wall. Um, it does take time for that, um, so just be patient with yourself and it also takes time to build up the core strength that you need in order to kind of lift up to, into your headstand nice and gently because our head and neck are involved, we don't want any kind of abrupt movements. So the first thing you want to do is find that nice kind of place where to put your head. So generally the consensus is if you put your the base of your hand just above the eyebrows or on the eyebrows and then lift your hand all the way up where your longest middle finger comes is the place where you'll need to um, put your head on the mat. You also want your arms make sure they're shoulder distance apart. So you want to grab for opposite elbows, like we did with our forearm stand, I'll link that video um, below. Um, but yeah, just grabbing around. So you don't want to just measure along, you want to really like be able just to grab around. And then from there, just placing the hands in front and then interlacing the fingers. And that's about where you want your hands and your shoulders to be. So I'll come into the pose, I'll demonstrate it for you. So just bringing the hands around the arms, making sure you've got that nice comfortable distance. Bringing the hands out and then interlacing the fingers. When you're ready, just bringing the head down to the mat, finding that nice place to rest the head and just resting the back of the head in your hands. You want to push into the um, arms more than anything, so you want to engage the shoulders, really kind of lock them in. So my shoulders are engaged at the moment. But I'll curl my toes on under and then just begin to push and you'll see they begin to engage and round. Slowly walking the legs in as far as they'll go. Maybe you want to stay here. Maybe just bringing one leg up. Maybe bringing both legs up. And just beginning to stack the hips first. Taking your time, going nice and slow. And then when you're ready, straightening the legs. So you should feel everything beginning to stack, activate the feet, breathe here, nice strong core, and when you're ready, slowly coming down. And straight away, coming into a child's pose. Thank you for watching, I hope that was helpful, those few tips. Um, and just what I would probably say is practice and just really work on building the core strength. So if you plank, chaturanga, just your general yoga practice will help build all the kind of strength and flexibility that you need to be able to progress into your headstand. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and share.